Boom, boom, chocolate, laka, laka. All right, we are back, man. Let's do this. Here we go. Episode two. Same deal as last time. All right. This is once again uh, just a normal, but this is actually uh, it's not our full fives team. Uh, Onan's stepping in for Hibs, but it's as close to our fives team as possible. And I kind of like the way things transpire in this match uh, for a reason. So it's it's a long one. Might as well get started. It's a 52 minute. A match. We're not going to watch the whole thing because it gets pretty out of hand at the end, but um, might as well get it started. So right off the bat, uh, this is me playing Sona. I've kind of taken my own advice from last video. Uh, didn't really wait to, to put it live, to be honest with you. Um, I'm doing the exact same build I would have started on Taric or Thresh, which is Fairy Charm, two Sight Wards, a Vision Ward, uh, and then the two summoner starting items as support you get the biscuit and the sentry ward or whatever it's called and then two mana potions as I like to poke and heal um, and I don't really need health potions because I can heal myself up pretty well so yeah this is my first game of Sona this is literally the first game I've ever played as Sona and I really 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 like this champion last time I said um, you know, Graves, not Graves, Tarek and Thresh were kind of like my main champions. Um, I, I wanted to kind of focus on them, but I recognized the fact that I needed extra. Uh, you know, I obviously can't just play two champions the whole time and be successful. So uh, it was to my, you know, up to my colleagues here. They told me Sona, Leona, Lulu, Blitzcrank. These are ones I should pick up. So next up will probably be Leona. <laughs> Maybe Blitz. I also apologize. Uh, I still do have sinus issues and I guess um, some allergies, but hopefully that doesn't stop the game from being awesome. Helping with Wolves. I feel like the aura thing is awesome on Sona. I really, 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 really like that. Um, it, it's It feels good. It looks good. This fucking skin is awesome. As soon as I bought Sona, I went and bought this skin because it's probably one of the best skins in the game, in my opinion. I'm helping Sai out, getting him doing smiteless. Actually, part of the support role, right? Nobody's going to argue with that. That's definitely my job. And it looks like we're against a Graves and a Jaina. Okay, now that's their lane. Our lane is myself and Leona playing Ezreal. Now, I'm not going to lie about it. Uh, Leona's an awesome dude. He's an awesome player. But I feel like we haven't developed our synergy yet. Um, and I have a little bit of trouble working with him right now. Uh, but that is that. This is much better than the last video I posted because the last video I posted was a complete random, and this is not a complete random. This is somebody I actually know. Uh, we're invent together. We're talking the whole time. But you see, like this stuff right here, I don't know what to do against. I don't know what to do about that. Is that his fault? Is that my fault? He's getting a beating, and I can't really provide the poke that I need to provide to keep them off him. Uh, but these guys aren't bad. James Martins and. Kiko PJ. These guys are pretty good. It looks like Jane is going to ward there. So I'm not... I'm aware she's warded. I don't know where. I believe that comes into play very shortly. But I noticed she has a very similar build, but she has potions that she never bought a fairy ward, which is interesting. And I may or may not have realized that she's just used her, her uh, sentry ward or whatever it's called. So that's probably something I need to improve on. I definitely need to make a, a better note of that. And here we go again, trying to get some damage. But their Psy came from behind. And he made the mistake of... Yep. Yeah, yeah. See, this is where things kind of break down. Uh, this is a really, really good game for Siler. But as I said, me and Leona just don't really synergize very well right now. Um, I'm sure by the time this is posted, we'll have gotten even better. But um, I just... I str See there, I think I threw it on a vision there. Yeah, I threw a vision in that bush. Uh, and that's because I'm, I was confident that she warded, but I wasn't sure where. And I feel like it's too much of a gamble to try to ward Vision Dragon unless you're doing it perfectly. Because then if they have a Vision in your bush, uh, in the bush, uh, right next to the lane, then they're going to kill your ward up Dragon. And uh, See, that's what I talked about last episode, and I'll talk about it again right now. The ward battle, I, I don't win it sometimes. I really don't. I have a replay of a game where I do win the ward battle and I think I may do a little look at that one as well let's speed this up 
Um, but I, I don't often win the ward battle, and I really, really struggle with that. So that's what I'm looking for right now. Tips, I'm looking at my own commentary, looking at my own uh, play, obviously trying to figure things out here. But if anybody has any tips on, like, what they see me doing wrong or perhaps how I could better my play as support because once again I am trying to like main support quote unquote you know what I mean that's what I'm what I'm after uh, so I want to be the best I can be I don't want to be a fuck I don't want to be bad and people say supports can carry the bottom lane it's not just the AD carry who has to play well and I obviously understand why that is but I have to figure out how to do it because I just don't see it at this point right now all I do is support him I don't know what to do to win this lane I just don't I really just don't like right now he's just getting his ass kicked and I have nothing I, I honestly don't I guess another thing that I need to learn to do on Sona is her like passive auto attack thing once you've used three abilities you can use your auto attack to affect the enemy champion in some way that's something I did I literally did not know was in the game when I started this because this is literally the first game I've ever played with Sona I was reading a guide before the game started on how to play her, so I didn't get that far, let's put it that way. But I, I think this is a pretty good game for me, considering this is a 5v5 game, these guys are ranked, we're ranked, you know, it's not we're not playing a ranked game, but this is clearly practice for both, uh, both parties, and I think we do pretty well. But yeah, so... Looks like she's warded Tribush, another thing I probably don't notice, but is it wor worth the, the vision? It looks like I have one vision now. Uh, I just used a ward in their bush because uh, they're getting a bit cheeky, hanging out in the bush, tossing them tornadoes, not trying to get caught off guard, although they should be easily dodgeable for me at this point. But yeah, like I said, the, the biggest thing, the biggest problem I'm having uh, as support is just what to do to win this lane. I don't know. I really just don't know. And it looks like she's just thrown down a vision ward. So Jaina has just vision dragon. Uh, I probably note that because, I, like I said, I do like to stay on top of this stuff. Um, but I don't, I probably don't know where she put it down. So we may see here in a few seconds me make a mistake. Once again with the ward. Um, I mean, I don't know. How else am I supposed to know where what to do? Is it worth the gamble? Always vision dragon. Always vision this bush. I, I don't know. I don't know. You guys tell me because I feel like, once again, like I said this in the last episode, these like small indecisive moments are what make and break the game. And if you don't do them properly, you're, you're not helping your team as much as you can be. And that's the thing I wanted. I'm playing support. I want to help this team win. I want to make this team five times better than it was without me you know what I mean I don't want anybody to think well we're carrying Metro he's just playing support everybody else is, is winning the games you know what I mean and Siler, Tub, Hibbs, even Onan, Hamder, anybody else these guys are legitimate players and they play roles that actually matter I guess but right there that guy goes fucking ham and I think we did a pretty good job of getting out of there but um oh that's not good yeah, that's another thing right there. I think I did, yep, I, I exhausted the wrong person, but it saved a life. Maybe, I don't know, probably not. Probably should have exhausted Graves, obviously, but either way, we survived it. It might have been a waste, but that's another thing. I don't really know when to use that spell. I picked up the mastery that makes it apply a, um, a debuff to the target as well that reduces their armor and magic resist or something like that by 10. I think that's how it works. I feel like that's useful. I like to use that in team fights as well. All right, I like to slap that on the AD carry in team fights. But in these situations, I don't know how to use it. I feel like it's instinctual, and I may not have the instinct yet for it. I feel like perhaps it's maybe there's like textbook usages usages of it, and I probably don't follow very well. I assume like a situation where the AD carry is getting harassed to the point of death is when you use it on their AD carry, like I tried to do there. Uh, but it didn't work. Sai's trying to make something out of nothing here. Uh, there's some good ganks coming up, that's for sure. Uh, but he is not. There's nobody here, so he's out. I think he realizes that now because I do have a ward in that bush, and they're obviously not in the lane. At this point, I have no wards remaining. I have bought in the life item. 
I think it's probably time to back. That's another, another problem I seem to have. I don't really know when a good time to back is. I'm looking at this game right now, and I'm thinking this is a great time to back, but I don't go back. I don't really know why. Perhaps because me and Siler are talking, and he says he wants to try to get something here, uh, which I believe he is going to try to do. It looks like Vi is coming as well, though. I think I remember this part in the game. This is a pretty pivotal part. Yeah, and, yeah, and Leona gets absolutely dominated. I used my ultimate. That was the first time I ever used my ultimate. Did you see that? I hit two people, I believe. That's pretty good. Yeah, and then Sai's back there hitting on Graves. Meanwhile, Vi is going to get to get. Yeah, Vi gets to go. And at this point, I think I used that auto attack, but I didn't even realize it did anything. Yeah, there we go. So we, we made a good play there. Any tips for that battle? Does anyone have anything that maybe I could have done better? Like I said, I don't really play Sona that often. Um, so maybe generally su general support stuff, what could I have done better there? But as Sona, I recognize I tried to keep the defensive, um, the defensive aura up when it looked like we needed it, which was when Leona was getting his ass beat. Um, I used the offensive aura right in the beginning, if I remember correctly. I used my ultimate uh, to try to stun all three of them, but I don't think I hit Vi. I'm quite confident I hit Graves and uh, Jaina. But anything better, anything better. I guess positioning is pretty important with Sona because of the auras and then the ultimate as well. If you can position yourself on the right side of the, the units, obviously you can get all three of them stunned if you're in the right position. But probably not that, uh, not that easy to do. That's probably an advanced tactic. And then once again, I did not use the old auto attack thing at all. At this point, I literally don't know it exists. Like, I didn't think it, it actually worked the way it worked now, it, how it does in this game. I thought that you just, it, like, using the aura made it, but got a bonus, not actually auto attacks. So I've restocked on wards, threw down a vision there, as once again, I like I said, I really just don't know when to use visions and how to use them properly. Um, he's taking a bit of this. Now, they exhaust right there. I feel like that is a wasted exhaust because he's not even at 75% health. Like, is that poor communication on their part? Is that the actual textbook usage? I don't know, but the guy is at fucking 75% health and you just used a summoner spell on him. Like, I don't care what it is. <laughs> I feel like that is not a good option. Um, not much going on. Let's fast forward a bit. Actually, it looks like something about to pop off. Yeah. So there we go. I ulti there because it looks like Graves is about to engage. I don't know if I actually hit Graves there. It does not look like it, but at this point I have the, yeah, uh, he doesn't, yeah. See, this is, this is a long, <laughs> this is going to be a long chain of deaths for Leona, I remember this, like we just have terrible, terrible luck in lane, he loses to Graves, but as you see our team is already starting to pull ahead, Siler is going fucking beast mode, I, I, this pro I think this might be his first game of Skarner as well, and it's only a normal, but he goes rape mode. Um, and as support, I'm just struggling to keep up, to be completely frank. I don't really know what to do when we're losing a lane. Uh, that's probably another question I'd love to have answered. What you actually do when you're losing a lane. Like, how you help win the lane back. Uh, as I said, I, I, I want to try to, like, carry... I want to help carry the lane. I don't want the AD carry to do all the work. I mean, just press buttons, you know what I mean? I want to know why I'm pressing the buttons. So right here we are, once again, I guess out of position with Vi. Um, trying to keep them off him. Trying to get a little damage on me by going out in front. Anything better there? I, I think I used the fucking guy cutting grass. Are you fucking for real? Is that coming through the video? I'm going to freak out if it is. Anyway. Um, I try to stay out in front there. Use the... Uh, I try to use the, uh, the run speed. Passive. Now there goes Jaina. Looks like she's going to ward. Yeah, she's just visioned. Why is it the shade doing this? Hold on a second. Whatever. Uh, yeah, so she's just vision dragon. Um, once again, I, I, I guess I'm losing the ward battle here because I'm throwing down visions that aren't doing anything. But at the same time, she's throwing down visions that aren't doing anything. So I don't know. Is that a good thing? Like I said, I really don't know how this works. I don't know what I'm expected to do. Here comes Sai. Check this out. Perfect stun. I feel like that is fucking perfect. Vi is there, though, and we did not know that, right? Is Vi actually there? Oh, no. That's not the one. But how fucking legit was that? I got that stun. I feel like that is exactly what you're supposed to do as Sona. 
Maybe not, but there we go. So now, yeah, now we're going for dragon. I'm trying to get in the mindset of being a lot more proactive with wards. As I said, I, I feel like I learned from the first, uh, the first one. We're trying to get dragon, so I throw down a vision, make sure they don't have sight of it. But apparently, they yeah, there's a ward, and they are too late. The dragon is slain, as you would say. So uh, we got it done. I'm gonna throw a, a ward there, as they did have some tri bush harass coming from Vi, one or two ganks. Uh, but once again, something I talked about last game was warding aggressively and when to do it. And I still don't really know. But look at this. I, I guess that's a semi-aggressive ward. I pro she hasn't entered the bush yet, so I don't think I would have seen her yet. But um, here they come. So that's that ward probably saved our life. And she's going to ulti me here. And do I... No, yep. Okay, so I popped on the heal. Back to the movement speed. Get a bit of damage on her. I exhausted her because I wasn't sure if, if we could do enough damage to kill her in the tower. Good use of exhaust. I don't know. Probably, in my opinion, but may not be. Leona's going back at, like, full health. No idea why. But as I said, just, you know. We don't really win this lane, but but Siler is... He is man mode right now. What is he? He is 4-0 16 minutes in. So that's not terrible at all. And everybody else has no deaths. The only deaths on our team are Leona. It's 10 to 3, and Leona has all three. I haven't even died yet. I have two kills for some reason. I'm not sure why. That's ob obviously not not something we want. But I'm pretty sure I pinged there because I, be I believe she just warded. And then I realized she just visioned my vision. So there we go. So that's where, like, the real ward battle has started. I still have not actually, like, got any type of thing out of this. But looks like Leona's getting his ass kicked. Sai's going in. I got green aura up. I'm throwing up the, the movement speed to try to catch up. Boom. Look at this. Jaina is fucked. I stunned her just to be sure. Probably didn't need to do that. Not sure if that's a wasted ult. Might be a new play, but I felt it was worth it. Just want to make sure I get get the maximum out of my character in that, that little fight. And now I'm completely out of mana. I'm pretty sure I'm screaming this at them. I'm like, I am out of mana. And Leona's like, we go. We go. I'm going. He probably fucking dies here as well, but in terms of vision, uh, I, we or ward coverage at least we have none right now. But Vi is is bottom, so I guess that's no big deal. Everybody else is accounted for. Uh, I don't. Once again, I don't really know. See, these situations kind of scare me. But look how OP that is! Look how fucking OP that is! That is so dumb. Why doesn't pe why don't people play Skarner more? He literally just engineered a kill. Like, anybody's ultimate could make a kill happen, but he just made that kill happen. Like, there was nothing that Vi could have done outside of, I guess, flash out of the ultimate, if you can do that. That is crazy. That's crazy. And and like I said, Sai and these guys, these guys play this game, man. They play this fucking game, and I kind of just dabble. I feel like I'm still learning. That's why I'm doing this. It's more for my benefit than anybody's, because... I'm watching these replays back. I used to play Warcraft 3 competitively, and I used to watch replays back more than I would actually play the game. Um, so I feel like this is helping me and helping perhaps you. I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt you guys are actually gaining anything from this. Maybe uh, some entertainment if you find me entainable. But at this point, what's going on here? Yeah, Leona is... Yeah, so I throw down a vision... And this is terrible, terrible play on me and Silas part. I throw down a vision because Sai says they just warded that bush. And Leona's like screaming at us like, uh, help, help, because I'm focusing on getting that vision out of the bush so Sai can come and gank. Meanwhile, Leona's getting his ass kicked. And I honestly just don't know what to do there. Because if I didn't put the vision down and clear the ward, they would have seen Sai and uh, Onan come. But at the same time, it probably wouldn't have mattered. You know what I mean? Like, they probably could have just seen them come and still not gotten away in time. So, that's probably a major mistake on my part. At this point, I have Sightstone. Uh, this was something I talked about last game. I really don't know about the Sightstone. I feel like it's such a gamble to buy because if you try to rush it... There's Onan. Let's see if we can get both of those. Now, now watch this. This is ridiculous. Watch this shit. Side drags him and then he flashes over and gets Onan. How terrifying is that? absolutely terrifying it's so shitty we were like laughing our ass off when we saw that because side trying to save his life and instead he brought him closer to a flashpoint that he could use to get over the wall um, but anyway 
trying to do some defensive war or offensive warding here. This is why I picked this game because I feel like I do a good job defensive or offensive warding in this game. Uh, but Side does not make it out, and this is this is the start of a rivalry between him and that Yeti. That was his first death, actually. Get 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 yeah. Yeti had two kills on people who were not Leona, and those are the only two kills that the team has. Uh, but So there I try to throw down some offensive wards. Uh, you'll see a, a point later in the game where I feel like it really, really helps. Sai actually makes a comment like, awesome ward coverage. It's just unfair. We see every, we see them all the time or something like that. And I feel like that's the goal, isn't it? That's what you want to do as a support. You want to help your team get sight and, and vision, but... I don't really know how to do it, especially as Tarek and Thresh, because, I, well, they don't move slower, obviously, but, oh, this is not good. Yeah, so I stunned, I think I stunned everybody there, but one way or the other, I saved Leona. Um, so hopefully, is he going to get out? Yeah, I think he does. Sai comes to help him. Sai is really just strong right now, and that was probably not a good idea. Let's see, does Leona die? Nothing comes of this. I'm dead, so what's there to... Well, what's this? Sorry, watch. Let's check out. Tublid's a rampage up there. Let's see. What's he up to? Nothing good there. He gets him, though. And there's Sai. I remember at this point, Sai screaming. He's like, get the fucking Yeti! And he's like... And Odin's like, what, what about... He's like, fuck him! Get the Yeti! Because he is pissed that he ended his flawless game a bit too early. Yeah, so I'm back alive. Let's see what I end up doing. I now have, once again, Sightstone, I believe I have one, no, it looks like I have three Vision Wards and a full charge of Sightstone. I've gotten the boots, um, the Mercury Treads, the part of the Aegis, which I feel like is the most important part as it helps the team, and then Philosopher's Stone. Is this a common build? I think it is. I like to get the Aegis thing because I feel like, especially on some champions, it's nice to have the health regen and help the team health regen a little bit. Um, and I like the Aegis overall. That's a very, very good item, I feel like, for support. Uh, the Sight Stone is a debatable topic. I think we were talking about that before I started fucking... I don't even know what I was doing, but... Um, I don't... Now, here we go. This is... Uh, this is where I start making a point of warding their blue. And on the other side, I don't know. Should I be warding their red? Or maybe the bush in between? Let's see here. I want to show you. Like, I, I ward this area here. Like, right here. But should I be warding right there in the middle of that bush? Or maybe in that bush? Or, you know, which which bush should I ward on the red side? That's another question I have that I just don't seem to have an answer to. So let's get back to the game itself. Um, I mean, we start, we, we really start owning him, owning these guys at this point. It's pretty unfortunate. As I said, it, it is, it's two 5v5 teams practicing for ranked, but... Um, I'm about to make a huge mistake here, I think, yeah. I thought I can get that because, yeah, I mean, she, she counter visions me, so that was that was a terrible call. I should have I should not have done that that early. Looks like she's also putting a, a regular ward there. I probably realized she did that, so I went to harass her a bit. Uh, meanwhile, my team is at the Yeti again, but size doing blue. Anyway, back to Sightstone. Yeah, Sightstone, I, it seems like a risk. People say you should rush it. I've heard people like, dude, you save so much money if you buy a Sightstone. Yeah, that's true. But if I rush a Sightstone, it's probably like over 900 and some gold early, which means I'm not going to be able to get as many wards. I'm going to have to back with... I don't think I ever really back with more than like 500, 600 gold in these phases. So that means I'm going to buy the, the life gem. See, there, I don't know what Leona is doing at this point. And that's, I remember Sai saying, like, what are you doing, dude? But we are just too beefy for them at this point. Tubbs build tank rumble, and I walk right into this. And look how much damage that does. That is insanity. That guy just hit me for 80 fucking percent. And then hit me with that snowball and finished me off. So there goes Tub. Tub's down. Size beast. Hopefully he gets out. Sightstone. Back to the sightstone. Is it worth it? 475 gold for that health gem. That means I'm probably only going to be able to buy one ward that back. Maybe two, but probably not. I'd probably buy a vision, and that would be that'd be it for the gold. I'd buy the life gem and the vision in that back. Is it worth it? 
because then I now have one ward and it's a vision ward. So if there's a case where I cannot ward, like I've used a vision to break, break a vision elsewhere, and now I don't have any other wards for perhaps the lane or the tribush. Is it worth it? Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? Is it worth it in the long run? Do I have to make that decision myself? Is that something I have to come to terms with? I don't know that. That's why I'm looking at this fucking game and asking you questions. So if anyone has any, any thoughts on that, let's get back to my point of view. Uh, if anyone has any thoughts on that, any suggestions, you know, they, hey, check it out, noob, you should be doing this shit. Please, I'd love to fucking hear it, even if you want to throw some insults out. I guess I'd stomach them because I am absolutely a noob at this point. I recognize why the Sightstone uh, is, is a money saver, is good in the long run. But I honestly just struggle to find a use for it because once you've placed two wards, you either have to go back or sacrifice those wards to place more. So I still feel like I need wards. Like, I don't feel like it's enough. I feel like I still need greens and pinks. And I don't know. I really, really struggle to, to comprehend if this is a good item, if it's a situational item, if it's something I need to learn how to use better. But... This is where things probably start getting a bit out of hand. It's 27 minutes deep into this game already. Uh, and we honestly don't really need to be playing this. We have a strong command over their team. Um, we haven't won yet, that's for sure. But I try to keep up. At this point, my mindset is we have such an advantage. I should be making sure the advantage sticks. Sorry about that. I should be making sure the advantage sticks. Is that right? I believe so. I mean, it makes sense to me. Here I don't really know how to ulti this in this situation. I'm not sure I even do it. Yeah, there I do it there to make sure he doesn't get that ability off. Um, but I mean, we're just raping him. Look, like, like nobody dies in this team fight. The lowest person is Sai, and he's the tank, so they've done something wrong. Leona's like full health until the end there. And we just absolutely start dominating them. But um, there is a situation where I do want to show show something off and then that's probably going to be the end of the video but as i said if you guys i'd love i really would love some some tips and tricks if anyone has any um but if not i really i, I benefit so much from just watching this because i feel like the more i watch my own replays the better i get i did like i said did the same thing in warcraft 3 i throw down a vision there i feel like that's a pretty common spot to ward uh would you guys agree probably a good vision right i mean there's a pretty good chance that there's going to be a ward in that bush. That bush always seems to be warded. This bush here always seems to be warded. And then conversely, uh, on the other side, where is it? What the fuck am I doing? That bush there always seems to be warded as well. So I feel like those are good vision spots. Where are other good vision spots when you're warding either defensively or offensively? Maybe that bush right there? I always People always try to poke a, like a... A ward in between those two bushes somewhere. Maybe that's a good option. But at this point, this is where they just... I have absolutely no idea what the fuck they're doing. They try to do Baron. And this is where this is where Siler makes a really a, a compliment. And I was really happy with this. They make a terrible mistake trying to do Baron. And I have I have sight in that bush. And they're trying to hide there. I don't know if they're trying to bait us or what. But Sai's like, dude. Awesome ward coverage. They are fucked right now because of it. And we, like, have split them up on both sides of this little fence thing here. And we have just, we have fucked them because of it. I don't know why they tried to do Dragon or Baron there. I don't know what they were thinking. They're losing. It's 11 to 29. And most of their people aren't even, like, like they're not very high level. Let's put it that way. So, um, long story short, though, we win this game. I think that's all I need to show because... This game really, really, really drags out. It goes on for another, what's that, 22 minutes. And we should have won this already. We fuck around, we dick around, we have a good time. But this will be the last. This is the end of it here. I think maybe I make a good play here. That slow is pretty potent. I don't know why I didn't use the movement speed. Probably just trying to figure this out yet. But... It's hard to use, yeah, and fucking Leona is just being a moron. And that's another point when Sai's like, dude, what are you doing? Why are you back there? But yeah, we break them up pretty hardcore. We, we dominate. This, these guys are dominant. 
and he's gonna get away because we're all like, oh, where is he? Is he up there? Is he back there? Is he hop out over there? Is he up here in those trees? Nah, he's fucking hiding in that bush. So that's gonna be the end of it. Um, this is a good game. Once again, not ranked, but hopefully we'll be doing some ranked fives this weekend. If we do, I'll be showing them off. Otherwise, I'll be doing some solo queue. Uh, tips and tricks would love, would love a few. As I said, biggest problems I have right now are sight stone. Is it worth it early? Is that a situational thing? Is it dependent on my preference? Is it dependent on if we're ahead? Dependent on if we're behind? Don't know. Aggressive warding, when to do it. Do it early. Do it never. Do it often. Do it when you're behind. Do it when you're ahead. I feel like if you do it when you're ahead, you're going to keep the advantage, but it's not really as important if you're behind. Can you gain an advantage from doing it? But if you're behind, you're probably going to die if you get caught. It's a struggle for me. Fucking the ward battle. I might have a video of that as well. Um, should I wait? Should I try to guess? Like that that time I lost the ward battle because I was constantly warding that bush with the vision when she was visioning up here. So technically we weren't battling. Like we were just drawing, I guess, because we were wasting gold on visions that we didn't even need to have down. Is that my fault? Is she, you know... Did we both play bad there? Did neither of us play bad? I don't know. Should I get fucked? I don't know. I really don't. But that's it. Boom. Chocolate. It's done. Next one's up, coming up soon, hopefully. I'm going to do another one soon.